Hello, this is Jamil here from web for tech I am reviewing the iPhone 4S at Fry's Electronics. Um, I believe this is the 16 gigabyte version. Um, dual core A5 processor and retina display 960 by 640 pixel. Uh, 325 PPI, 3.5 inch diagonal widescreen multi-touch display and 1080p video recording with 8 megapixel still camera. Now the nice thing about it is the design. Um, I like how the power buttons, I mean the volume buttons are here. Power buttons on top, that's mostly what I look for in a phone. And of course the 3.5 inch adapter up there for the headphones. Uh, let's see here. It's white, there's a white one, and there is a black one as you can see. Um, I find that it, it's very snappy, however, it does still have a little bit of a lag as compared to my Atrix 2. Um, I don't know if you can see, like, I mean, yeah, some things are really fast, but obviously this one doesn't have the 5 software for some reason. Um, mail... See, I still see that lag that I didn't see on previous iPhones, and that's what's kind of disappointing me. Um, and I don't know if it's just that it hasn't been updated to the right version of uh, iOS, but I still see that kind of lag. I don't know if you can see it. See? I don't know. It's, it's different from previous versions of the iPhones where they're more snappy. Um, it's definitely different from my Atrix 2, which is... A, you know, pretty quick, and I have a lot of apps on there too. Um, I like that it has a front camera, I like the 8 megapixel camera in the back. 1080p video recording is a big plus for me and lots of you, I bet. Um, I wouldn't get the 8 gigabyte version because I think that is too small of a storage. I would shoot more for 16 or 32, if not 64. Problem is the price. So. Anyways, this is, again, this is Jamil here, and I just thought I would quickly review the iPhone 4S if you have not seen it already. That's the dock at the bottom. Alright, have a good day. Bye-bye.